Hey everyone, Tin Man here. We're going up against uh, Pupistus here in the uh, round six of the ETS this week. Um, I'm on Combriagra, he's on Argentport mid range, which is actually the most common deck in the meta. Uh, surprisingly, we were able to go five rounds without seeing it, despite it being over 20% of the field. Uh, let's redraw this hand. Don't really, can't really cast anything there. Sand is only marginally better because I can actually cast one or two spells, but the rest of them are uh, still leave something to be desired. Uh, Stand together is not very good in the matchup, for example. Although it's uh, pretty decent against, um, you know, in the matchups it's good, it's very good. But against Archport midrange, it's not really where I want to be. I'd much rather see uh, Vanquishes. Um, okay. Let's grab a time influence, since we need double time. I'll just offer to trade here if he lets me trade. I don't want this guy to get out of hand. Uh, he's not going to let me trade. Okay. Um, I can attack first with the finest hour. I don't think he would take this trade, would he? Yeah, he wouldn't. Got him! I will trade this here um, if he lets me, because I'm on the back foot. I really need to make trades where I can. And that would also buff Crown Watch so I can attack in even without the holding open Finest Hour. If he actually made a block, it's actually really bad for us because I would Finest Hour to trade, but it actually is just like inefficiently using my mana. I might actually, yeah, I'd have to Finest Hour to trade. Um, but it's basically sending three mana to kill his three drop, which if you're behind is not really where you want to be. I just like leave two mana unused, <clears throat> but I know I respect my opponent enough to uh, that he wouldn't just walk right into that finest hour. So, um, you know, it uh, oh, really so it made sense to run that bluff. Lock, jeez, uh, yeah, unseen commandos, good cards, very, very, very good cards. But I also have my own. <clears throat> so, assuming there's no slay, uh, Valken Forcer is even better than a slay. Okay, not really. It's they're comparable, but yeah, he's gonna be just killing me here without any recourse. Okay. Yeah, unseen commando. Good card. The main problem, main drawback of non-fire-based aggro decks is that you don't have Torch. And uh, that means uh, Unseen Commando is very difficult to deal with. So let's clone our sideboard. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. That's our sideboard from last match. And let's see what we want to do. Clone our generic sideboard. So uh, once again, Combra Healer, not very good. Um, we've actually set it out Karmber Healer every single match here because we haven't gone up against any kind of aggressive deck. Uh, probably don't want the Twin Broods. I actually like, don't even know if I want to sideboard anything. I think my main deck's actually just exactly where I want to be. And I want Rune Hammers in. So we'll take out the Desert Marshals. And like, I guess we don't need Titans. Titans are pretty bad. So let's put uh, the Marshal back in. At least one marshal. The foil one. And I think that should be good. Yeah, this looks good. Alright. Ready when you are. So I think we've lost game one every single round, if I'm not mistaken. From round one to round six here, always starting with a one-game deficit. The fact that I'm still three and two and have a positive record um, speaks a, a good testament to how good the sideboarding is, I guess? I don't really know. Or if it's just, like, uh, how unlucky I'm getting in the game ones. <clears throat> but this matchup can definitely be rough, uh, you know, without an answer to, answer to Unseen Commandos. Uh, but luckily in the sideboard we get a bit more. We now have... <clears throat> Xen initiations plus work rune hammers plus just our own silence effects. Now we have five silence effects the four Balkan forcers plus the one desert marshal. 
So we definitely have answers. We just need to be able to draw them. My opponent's sideboard here is probably bringing in the Suffocates. Oh god, Suffocates going to be annoying. Uh, the extra Uruk Runehammer. Maybe Annihilates? Maybe? You don't have too many great things to take out, though. <clears throat> take out the Sabotages. Maybe the Vanquishes? I don't know. I don't know how the how you sideboard is Argent Port in this matchup. But um, we'll see in a moment, hopefully. If uh, Pistis decides to uh, give me the challenge. I understand that we probably sideboard pretty quickly since I, I understand the, the deck and the sideboard quite well. He, our opponent might have a... Uh, I, I think we've sideboarded before all of our opponents in every match so far. <coughs> All right, uh, one that I roll. That's hey, a great start. That's what we need to to win two zero back to back here. Uh, but this hand not so great. One power hands almost start always a redraw. Oh, we're gonna get color screwed this time. Great. Uh, not really. We still have a two drop and a three drop. So as far as having a mono color hand, I'd rather have mono justice than mono time. Because all of our cards cost at least one justice. Other than like our four drops. Uh, but presumably you can't deal with this. Sure. I can still attack in and trade. Wanna trade? No? Okay. Let me get free work, guys. Awesome. Suffocate. Yep. Shit. Well, we finally found a time influence. Um, so I guess we just play Seraph. This guy's just gonna stonewall my crown watch all day. Runehammer. That's where I wish I could have had Desert Marshal available. Because now it's gonna two for one me for sure. Unless I find a way to kill this guy. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. Oh, the two for one. The two for one. Not really, because it, it's the one for one. Because his guy dying procs his own room hammer off. It's pretty funny, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to just play this guy out there. This way he can't play just another rune hammer and get value. And I've got an off and force to deal with this guy. I have more silence effects, so I'd rather get more guys out there. Uh, I guess I'd... Would I rather be a 5-3 or a 3-5? Probably a 3-5. No, a 5-3. Yeah. So we'll just Desert Marshal it. And it swaps back. 5-3 I can just trade with like any old X-3 or 3-3. Like this guy. Uh, I'll just take it. Tap God. Alright. We'll hit Tab Rod with the this enforcer. Or Tab Rod with the Vanquish. Works just as well. Um I think we're in good enough shape to just play this Falcon Enforcer. Start killing him in the air. Um, let's see. So if I just play this Enforcer, it's good against, I don't know, like Bloodletter. But Bloodletter is really bad. It's good against spot removal spells. Uh, it's good against just straight power. It's bad against, uh, like two drops and another tab rod. All right, I'm just going to play it. I think I think the cases in which uh, I think we need to get aggressive. We're so far behind, like behind on cards in hand. He's got three more cards still, um, so I'd rather just you know get the aggression going and try to win the game before my lack of cards remaining in hand becomes an issue. And this is a two turn clock in the air, so should be all right. No, I guess it's well. Good thing we played that guy against spot removal, and a tab rod. He had both. 
Uh, that was not that was not called for, man. Not called for at all. Second Tavrod is gonna be my only one vanquished draw. Huh. I'm assuming he just like attacks with both, right? Like, I guess if he attacks with both, then he's running the risk of me just, just top decking to vanquish and winning. It's really like my only out, right? Um, whatever else I have, I guess a scene and initiation doesn't do anything. Displacer, oh, displacer, he's got to be afraid of displacer. Displacer kind of works as a vanquish as well. Kind of works as vanquish. Yeah, displacer would be oh so clutch right about now. Or last turn would have also been pretty clutch. Uh, opponent is deep in the tank, though. Uh, we didn't disconnect. Uh, okay. Ah, blood letter. Yeah, can't ever beat that. So remember when I was like going through the options, like, okay, if he has blood letter, I should do this. If he's got a spot removal, I should do this. Or if he has a tabard, I should do that. He just had all three. Okay. Uh, it seems seems reasonable. All right. So now I need a spot removal spell, and he did draw two cards off tabard, so we need a. Need a vanquish or a displacer here. Pretty much nothing else gets out of this. Um, or if he drew like a, uh, or a interrogated, and then we have like no outs. <sighs> he drew an enforcer. Man. Yeah, we don't even draw it. All right. Unfortunate, um, opponent just just had it all. Um, I mean, to be fair, I think that's uh, I think Argent Port when they draw well is very well positioned against their deck.